Good evening, beautiful people. My name is Julia Spence, and I'm a life coach coming to you live. Pardon me, certified life coach coming to you live from Vancouver, British Columbia, and I'm having supper at my friend's, my friend's house, the Maganias. So I want to thank them for the props and <laughs> making me welcome to do the broadcast tonight. So I hope you guys had a wonderful Wednesday. I want to thank you for joining the broadcast on Monday where we discussed, what was our topic on Monday? Our topic on Monday was make your name great. Thank you so much for joining Wilma Williams from Largo, Florida. On Tuesday night, we, hey, we touched on shut your mouth <laughs> and we talk about Zechariah and how God shut his mouth while his wife was going through the birthing pro process and that God may very well shift some people or shut their mouth, so to speak, while you go through the birthing process so that you can birth what God has for you and then God will bring them back into the picture. I also have on set a praying woman, my friend Judy, <laughs> who is here praying before the broadcast. So tonight we are covered. So tonight, let's jump right in. Tonight, our topic is, but he is a murderer. Can you imagine God choosing a murderer? So this week, our, our theme has been walk with God's guidance. And tonight's topic is, but he is a murderer. So let's go on the journey as it relates to the Apostle Paul. And join me in Acts 9, verse 1 to 6. So I'm pulling it up on, thanks so much for joining Aunt Kim, and Acts 9 from verse 1 to 6. And it says, meanwhile, Saul, oops, I've jumped down to 11. <laughs> I'm not ready for that yet. Meanwhile, Saul was still breathing out murderous threats against the Lord's disciples. He went to the high priest and asked him for a letter to the synagogue in Damascus. So that if he found any there who belonged to the way, whether men or women, he might take them as prisoners to Jerusalem. As he neared Damascus on his journey, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. He replied, now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. So imagine some of us are living our lives, doing our own thing, thinking that we are on the right path. And mind you, Saul was a religious man. He was a man that, you know, knew the word and was living a religious lifestyle, but he was actually persecuting anyone that called on the name of Jesus. And so we're going to learn about how God interrupted his plans and changed his life. So we're going to jump down now. Hi, Keisha. Thanks so much for joining. All of you guys joining the broadcast. Allison, thanks for joining. We're going to skip down to Acts 9 and verses 10 to 12. Sorry, 10 to 16. Okay. So Acts 9, 10 to 16, and where are you? So in Damascus, there was a disciple named Ananias. The Lord called to him in a vision, Ananias. Yes, Lord, he answered. The Lord said, go to the house of Judas on Straight Street and ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul, for he is praying. In a vision, he has seen a man named Ananias come and place his hand on him to restore his sight. Lord, Ananias answered, I have heard many reports about this man and all the harm he has done to your holy people in Jerusalem. And he has come here with authority from the chief priests to arrest all who call on your name. But the Lord said to Ananias, and listen to this, guys, go this man is my chosen instrument. Hold up. Didn't we just read that he was a murderer? But he had an encounter with Jesus Christ. And God said, this man is my chosen instrument to proclaim my name to the Gentiles and their kings and to the people of Israel. 
I will show him how much he must suffer from my name. So I want to challenge you tonight that no matter how you are living your life at this present moment, you may be thinking that you are on the right path, but God has an assignment for every individual on the planet. It doesn't matter what you've done. God is calling you to divine purpose. Look at what he said to what he said about Saul. I have to read it again. He says, this man is my chosen instrument. But here he was just a few verses up and he was persecuting Christians, people that follow Jesus. So I don't know who I'm speaking to tonight, but you may have disqualified yourself by the choices you have made. Other people may have disqualified you by the choices you have made, but I am here to tell you tonight, you are God's chosen instrument. Your business, your book, your relationships, whoever you're involved with, God is going to use them to show forth his glory in the earth. So I'm calling the prodigals tonight. I'm calling all the individuals that people may have said you are no good, you are nothing, you are a whoremonger, you, you, you committed adultery, you, you, you raped people, you stole. God's heart is you are his chosen instrument. So I want to challenge you tonight to turn away from the path that you have gone and submit your life to Jesus Christ tonight. Whether you are Christian and you are going in your own direction, whether you are a, a Christian that has turned away from God and you are going in your own direction, whether you're a person that has never surrendered your life to God, no matter what you have done, God is calling you tonight. I know that people say, you know what, I'm going to get my life right first and then I'm going to turn to God. That is deception. Saul was on his way to persecute Christians and he God, he had an encounter with Jesus night, Jesus Christ. I am the voice of Christ tonight. I am speaking on behalf of Christ tonight. And I'm calling everyone into divine alignment in Jesus' name. Father, I lift up every person watching this broadcast tonight. I want to thank you for your assignment on their lives. I want to thank you, Lord God, that no matter what they have done, you see them as your chosen vessel. You see them. I'm going to repeat that again. You see them as your chosen vessel. You see them as your chosen vessel. So I thank you for the hearts that are turning now. I thank you for the Holy Spirit who draws mankind unto the Father. I thank you for the angelic host assigned to every person watching this broadcast tonight. Those that are out of alignment, that they are coming back into alignment. I prophesy to you tonight that you are coming into alignment divine alignment you god is is disconnecting the path that you have walked on that is out of alignment and he's bringing you into divine alignment i thank you lord god for the ananiasis that you will send the individuals lord god that will look beyond what these individuals have done and that they will be used by you as instruments to draw them into divine alignment and into divine purpose and into the love of God tonight. Lord, I thank you for every willing heart that will go after the lost, the broken, the prostitutes. Lord God, those that are feeling rejected, those that would have committed murder. I thank you for the, for the people in the body of Christ. Lord God, that will let you Use them as the hand, your hands and your feet, Lord God, to advance the kingdom, to get people operating in their divine purpose tonight. Lord, I give you thanks and I give you praise for what you're going to do in and through the lives of the listeners of this broadcast so that they come into divine alignment and become the men and women that you say that they should be. No more shame. I'm hearing the Lord say, no more shame. I'm hearing the Lord say, no more disgrace. No more disgrace. Tonight, Lord, I ask you to strip the cloak of shame 
and disgrace that people have been walking in and those words that were spoken over their lives by themselves, by the enemy and by other individuals, Lord, who have discarded them. But it is your desire, Lord, that none would perish and all will come into the saving knowledge of who you are. So tonight I stand with my tongue as the pen of a ready writer and I speak life into this broadcast. I speak life into every individual that is listening and that will listen on the replay. I thank you, Lord God, that your word is active and powerful and sharper than any double-edged sword. And every word, Lord God, that has impacted them and caused them to turn from your ways, we call them back. We call back every prodigal in the name of Jesus. We say, return to your father's house. Return to your father's house. There are many mansions in your father's house, and he has set aside a place for you to dwell in Jesus' name. So I thank you guys. Tonight's broadcast is short, but it is targeted to individuals that see themselves in the wrong identity and are on the wrong path tonight. So Lord, we thank you. We glorify your name for the businesses that will be started. We glorify your name for the books that will be written because people are coming back into divine alignment. So tonight, I repeat again, you are are God's chosen vessel and he is waiting for you to come on board and embrace his kingdom way of living so that all that he has for you can be established and manifest in the earth and because of apostle Paul Many lives were transformed. You are God's transformation tool. Yes, you. Yes, you watching this broadcast. You are God's transformation tool. So humble yourself. You don't know more than God. He sees you as a chosen vessel. So anything else is a lie. However else you see yourself, it is contrary to his word. And he says, let God be true and every man be a liar. So tonight... I speak to you. You are God's chosen vessel. So submit yourself under God's mighty hand and let him take you through the pruning process so that he will exalt you in due season. But he is a murderer. Yes, he's a murderer, a homemonger, whatever you want to label yourself as. But God wants you and has chosen you to walk with his guidance. Bless you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the broadcast. Again, my name is Julia Spence and I'm a certified life coach coming to you live from Vancouver, British Columbia. Thanks for joining the broadcast and we will be back on tomorrow night where we continue our theme, Walk in God's Guidance. Thank you for joining guys. Bless you. Have a good night now.